Thanks for joining me today. This morning we're going to be exploring a few postures to get the digestive system on the go and working. Also just some morning stretches just to get the body going and the blood circulating. So nothing too strenuous. The class will be about 10 to 15 minutes long. When you're ready, you can join me on your mat and we'll start in a child's pose. So whichever child's pose is accessible and comfortable for you, can be the knees wide apart, the big toes together, the arms extended, reaching out. We can have the knees together. So I'm going to start off like this with the legs together. My forehead resting on the ground, arms alongside the body. And I'm just going to begin to focus on my breathing here. Do a gentle scan through my body. Allowing the sympathetic nervous system to kick in. Releasing that fight or flight mode and just really having the nervous system calm. And this is why it's great to start your, your morning with a stretch. Just so that the right nervous system is activated first thing in the morning. We don't want to wake up feeling stressed and in a rush. We want to wake up, gradually greet our bodies and then start our days. So nice deep breaths here, really feeling the belly in between the legs or pressing against the legs. You can gently just roll your forehead from left to right on the back. Just giving the forehead a little bit of a massage. Coming to center. A nice long inhale followed by a long fluid exhalation with me. in the shape that you're making. Your next inhale, draw your hands to underneath your shoulders, gently just lift up into a seated position. Keep the eyes rather low here. If it is uncomfortable for you to sit on the heels the way I am, then you're more than welcome just to come into a cross-legged position for now. I know it is early morning, so the joints are still stiff, so we can even extend the legs. And we'll just inhale, Reach the arms up towards the sky, pushing down the seats, exhaling, releasing the right hand down alongside the body, plant those palms, lift the left, left hand, and just cross over. Just a gentle side stretching. You can go up to the hand, keep the neck in a good position, and breathe. Next inhale, draw the hands back up to the side, to the center. And exhale, release the left hand down this time. Right hand reaches up. As you exhale, you do a slight bend to the left. Really opening up that side body here. You can imagine how gravity has been pushing on the body the entire night. So this movement gets the blood circulating in all the little nooks and crannies that you really needed to. Inhale, we come to the center. Exhale, forward fold over the legs, nice and slow. We're not in a rush here. Relax the arm, relax the head. And breathe. Next inhale, gaze to the toes. Exhale completely. Inhale, come all the way up. We'll come into a tabletop position now. So make your way to your tabletop. Hands come directly underneath the shoulders. Arms on a nice straight line. Legs are straight. Joints the back line of the body are nice and straight. And my back is long and my spine. My back is long and flat. My spine is just as long and tall. Okay, so we're gonna go through a few cat cows here, probably five of each. Flowing with your breath. Let's move together. Inhale, tuck the pelvis. Round the back as you gaze towards the belly. Exhale, untuck the pelvis. Sliding the shoulders down the back as you lift your chin. Again, inhale, tucking the pelvis, moving through the spine as you tuck your chin. Exhale, releasing the pelvis, dropping the belly. Bring the shoulders, move back and the chin lift. And as you go with your breath here, just really focus on that beautiful stretch that you're feeling in the spine. This is really great for a stiff back or spine. Great for digestive, your digestive system. Get all the internal organs moving. So following our breath here, yeah, honoring our breath. Move in 
two cats, so we talked the pelvis rounding the back, really arching the back, gazing to the thighs. Take one deep breath in here. We exhale. Inhale again. And then exhale, untuck the pelvis, dropping the belly, shoulders, <laughs> side the shoulders down into the chin. Again, nice deep breath here. We exhale. Now back into your tabletop position. We'll walk the hands to a little bit further to the mat here, coming into a puppy pose. So you can bend the elbows down, and if this is enough for you, stay here, or maybe you surrender the chest a little bit lower to the ground. Also, very good for digestive system. We won't be here long, just two breaths. So, wherever you are, even if you've just got the elbows down, and breathe. Really exteriorly tilt the pelvis. So we're not tucking the tailbone, we're exteriorly tilting the pelvis. Inhaling, and then tuck your chin, gaze towards your knees, and then bring your hips and your thighs down onto the mat. Walk the hands out, so the elbows meet the underneath of the shoulders, and you're in sphinx posture here. Shoulders roll back, opening up nice and wide. Chest is open, legs are active. And three breaths here. Tucking the tailbone so we're creating a little bit more space in that lower part of our spine. Then moving into another one that's great for digestive, the digestive system. Walk the right hand slightly towards underneath, so it's more like the palm is underneath the shoulders. Or actually no, let's walk, walk that right and all the way down to where the, where the ribs start, or the, where the ribs end. And then we're coming into cobra, so quite a high cobra here. Maybe. Inhale, lift up, draw the elbows in towards each other, hold it here. Keep the length in your tailbone. And we're going to go in for a gentle twist here, so take at least two breaths in. Inhale here, yeah. and then the next inhale, exhale, gaze towards the feet behind you. So twist in gently. Inhale back to center, exhale. Inhale again, and exhale, gazing to the left. Two more cycles of those. Inhale here, yeah. and exhale, twist. Inhale center, exhale there, inhale, and exhale, twist. Back to center, exhale here. Okay, come a little bit lower this time. Inhale and exhale, twist. Gaze into the feet, inhale back to center, exhale here. Inhale and twist. Inhale back to center, tuck the chin, walk the hands back down. And you're back in the space. Inhale here, exhale. Draw the hands underneath the shoulders as you inhale, lift into a kneeling plank. Tuck the toes, send the seat back, down and facing dog. Hooey! Sorry about that. And breathe, another really good one for the digestive system. So paddle it out, creating your legs for today. Holding the shoulders away from the cheeks. Armpits are pushing away from the ground, so we don't want to sink our armpits into the ground. We want them quite lifted. Neutral down, down dog, lift the heels, bend the knees, look, dance forward. Begin walking your feet to the front of the mat. Bring each foot to the outside edge of your mat with the toes pointing out. We're coming into a yogi, yogi squat. Again, a great one for the digestive system. If your range of motion is not as friendly as you'd like it to be in your ankles, then you can just slide a book or a pillow underneath each heel, and that should give you a little bit more range in motion. Okay? So we'll be here just for three breaths. Elbows are meeting the knees. And our gaze is at the tip of our nose and we're just really greeting our body and feeling the, the pace of the heart and the capacity of the lungs, the way that it's increased. Inhale and exhale, release the hands to the top of your mat, really stretching them out here and then just release the neck down. Breathe. Relax the glutes, keep the legs strong and the feet active. 
And then inhale, just draw the hands back towards the legs, bringing the hands back down, back into the prayer mudra. Inhale here, and exhale, release the hands behind you, and then just gently rest your seat back on the mat. Hugging the knees into the chest. Try and get the, the forehead to rest on the knees or the chin to be tucked. So no, so the seat is the only thing really touching the mat here. I'm gonna bash into the knee. Next inhale, tuck the chin and then round the back as you roll back into a reclined position. Okay. Now that we are on, in our reclined position, let's just hug the knees again from left to right, making circles with the lower back and the knees. Really sucking the belly in as the knees come closer to it. And this way we're really massaging the internal organs, the colon. Great stuff, hugging the knees into the chest. Release the legs up to the sky, pointing the heels towards the heavens. Active quads here. And then just release the feet down again, let the, the knees walk in towards each other, creating this capital A position. Palms come out to the outsides of your body, and then just drop the knees, we're three more, bring them from left to right, just neutralizing the hips, creating a little bit more of some movement in them. Sorry about Louis, he's needy in the mornings. <laughs> Whatever cycle you are on, we'll meet back in the center with the knees falling in towards each other. Nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, let those knees fall out, soles and feet meet in Parakonasana. And you can lay here for the next few breaths, gathering your thoughts and setting your intentions for the day. Letting go of any judgments. Just accepting love in your heart for the day. And when you're ready, let the knees come in towards each other once again. Hug them into the chest. And start rocking back and forth. Massaging the spinal cord. Until you come up into a seated position one more time. Let's sit here in our seated position together with the legs crossed and the eyes closed. And beginning to focus on our breath here. Allowing the breath to travel through the nostrils, enriching and filling the entire body. And observing the breath as it leaves the nostrils, a little bit warmer, a little bit less. And keep following your breath. And allowing the sense of calmness to be your guide throughout the day. Allow your kindness, your calmness to treat people with love. May you carry yourself with love. Drawing the hands to the heart center. And just bowing your head towards your heart. Expressing gratitude and appreciation for yourself and for this day. Namaste. Thank you also very much for joining me this morning. Louis also appreciates it. And I hope to see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions for classes, please write it in the comment box below. Otherwise, click subscribe and you'll see videos from me daily. Au revoir.